but then you also need some string, some tape, some cello tape, and some scissors. But remember, these are sharp. You're right. So you've got to be very careful with these and ask a grown up for help if you need it, okay? So we've got all of those things. If you don't have a paper or plastic cup at home, that's absolutely fine because you're going to get a toilet roll holder and you're going to get some paper and we're going to make the same thing so don't worry about it okay but for now let's make one of the plastic cups and what this is going to be is a very clever phone <gasps> if i attach these two i can speak through it at one end and listen to it at the other so you can use this with your siblings or friends or your mummies and daddies or your grandparents or carers anyone okay and they're gonna love playing with you with this okay so I've already done the one end but let's do the other so I have made a little hole at the top of my plastic cup so you're gonna need some scissors to do that all right so remember maybe ask a grown-up to do that one because that's a little bit tricky and then what we're going to do is we're going to push through the string and pull it out the other end can you see all right and then once you've pulled it through don't pull it through too much okay you only need a little bit because then what we're going to get is our sellotape and we're going to use our sellotape to stick it down on the inside of the cup okay here we go let's cut off a little bit here remember be careful with those scissors and we're going to get the string inside okay pull it through a little bit and you're going to use your sellotape to tape it to the inside of your cup so that then it can't be pulled out okay so now we've got two ends and what I've gone and done with the other end is I've decorated it a bit with some uh, with some scissors with some stickers so I've got some very special stickers that I stuck onto mine and you can decorate it however you want but I can use one end and listen through the other. Isn't that clever? So we've got one there, okay? But now, if you don't have cups at home, that's absolutely fine. I didn't either. I had to go and get some. So what I've got instead is some paper and some uh, toilet roll holder, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to make, again, a little hole in your paper for the string to go through. And you're gonna use your scissors to do that. So again, maybe ask a grown up to help you on that one, okay, because it's a bit sharp. A toilet roll holder over the paper with the hole, okay? We're going to do that. And then we're gonna need some more of our sellotape, okay? You're gonna need a few bits of sellotape, so maybe cut a few off. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. I have cut off about four pieces. I may need some more, but we'll see. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper around the toilet roll holder and just stick it down like so. And then you're going to do it again on this side. Fold it up and use your sellotape to stick it down. And then Ooh, that bit's coming off a little bit Let's stick it down again you're going to keep doing that all the way around until you've got something like this can you see i've stuck mine all around and then i use some straws to cover up the rest of it to make it look a little bit nicer and then you're going to put it put the string through the hole in the paper and you've got the same idea hello i could hear it and you're going to do the same, you're going to stick the string inside so that it doesn't come out. And then you've got a phone ready to use. <gasps> Perfect. So remember, we love to listen to God and to follow after him, don't we adventurers? Okay, boys and girls, should we use our special new phone to give Ellie a call? Are you ready? On the count of three, you've got to shout her name very, very loud. Ready? One, two, three. Ellie! Ellie! 
sea lion. I told you. And there, look. Ooh. Wow. Ah! Hello Alice, shall we take the boys and girls on their first adventure of the day? All right Alice, let's go. Now, today boys and girls, I was praying to God and he told me he wants me to listen and follow. Listen and follow. I think that our Bible story might have something to do with that too. Hmm. Shall we find our first clue? <gasps> but before we do that, we need to find Monkey. I don't know where he is. Can you see him? Monkey? Monkey? Hmm. Monkey? Okay. Okay. Oh, where are you, monkey? He's been playing hide and seek all day long. <gasps> I can hear him. Monkey. Okay. <gasps> there you are, Mr. Monkey. Oh, and look, he's found our first clue. Thank you, sir. Let's have a look what it says. Hmm. There is a wall that stands so tall. Hmm. I think it's as high as the bright blue sky. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hmm. Alice, Alice, do you know? Hmm, Ellie couldn't figure it out. Maybe we should help her. Should we look for clue number two? Okay, we need our adventurer hands. Are you ready? We're looking, we're searching. We found it, but it's hiding behind the tiger. Oh dear, do you think if we roar at the tiger, that he'll get scared and run away. Okay, you've got to help me though. Are you ready? On the count of three, we're gonna roar really, really loud. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! We did it! Wow, you guys were so brave. I need my magnifying glass. We have to march for miles around. And when we're finished, we make a loud sound. We pick up our trumpets and shout to God, because he's given us the land where our feet have trod. <gasps> I know what the story is. It's about Joshua and the Israelites when they walked around the wall of Jericho in the Bible. I love this story because it tells us that when we listen and follow God, that we get to be a part of miraculous stories. Do you know, I was talking to my friend Angelina about this story the other day. Should we call her? Okay. Hello? Hello Alice. No way you're about to read the story of Joshua and the wall of Jericho. Do you mind if I share some of the story with the little adventurers? Hi guys, my name's Angelina and I'd love to tell you all about this miraculous story of Jericho. 
God had promised a special land to his people. But before they could get there, they had to go through a city called Jericho. It was so big. But God told them if they walked around the city seven times for seven days, that the wall would come down. That is incredible. Some of God's people didn't think it would work, but they decided to listen to God and follow what he said. So for seven days, they walked around the walls, but on the last day, God told them to lift up a big shout and use their music to worship God. When they did, the walls smashed to the ground. Wow! Hang on! What do you think about that, Ellie? That's amazing. So when God's people chose to listen and to follow what he said, they saw amazing miracles. I always feel so much better when I've listened to God and done what he said. It's like when I listen to my parents asking me to help around the house and to follow what they say when they need me to do my homework. Sometimes it can be hard because I want to do something different. But I know that they love me and they want the best for me. And that's the same for God. Thank you, Angelina. God, today we choose to listen and follow you. Shall we say our great adventurer prayer together? Are you ready with your actions? Here goes. I am an adventurer. I am bold. I am strong with the word of the Lord. I will follow wherever you lead. I won't stop. I've been set free. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. Oopsie, I think Monkey forgot to do the actions. trying to figure out where we should go on our next adventure but before we go we wanted to show you something very special we got sent in a video by Grace and Archie in Cheltenham they learnt a lot from fear busters and they wanted to tell us a bit about it Archie even memorized one of the verses if you've learnt anything from fear busters or the great adventurers and you wanted to share it with us you can share it at, at Freedom Kids Global with the hashtag Great Adventurers. We would love to see what you've been up to. But until then, I better get going. See you soon. I like the promise and the seals. Thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Shedding the egg and making the flowers. I've learned that God makes me strong and gives me good gifts. For I have learned God has not given spirit faith or to me. Power, love and sound mind. To them we won the seven. I'm an adventurer. I am bold, I am strong. I am bold, I am strong. With the word of the Lord. With the word of the Lord. I will follow where you lead. I will follow where you lead. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. I've been set free. Amen. I've been set free. Amen. Thank you, I hope you loved it. Um, okay, Monkey, it's time to say goodbye to all the children. Give them a wave. Bye, everyone. See you again soon.